back with another video. Uh, I've been cranking these out lately, let's keep it going. So today is paint correction day. And so I'm in the car wash right now, getting it rinsed off. Once you do a paint correction, you fall in love. So um, I highly recommend it for anyone that has a black vehicle or anything that's like, got like swirls from previous owners or whatever. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do some clips, some before and afters and all that, nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, we got a guy, me and a buddy Jake are both getting our black trucks done, he's an F-150. Um, I just want to show you guys the difference that a paint correction can make and that it is definitely worth it for you to either do it yourself or have someone do it for you depending on the rates. But yeah, this stuff is so satisfying to me. I love watching like de detailing videos of like, you know, trash vehicles. Um, so obviously my truck's like pretty clean overall. So it won't be like a huge difference. But uh, I'm doing a touch wash because I'm obviously getting polished today. So I don't really care. And my mirror got flipped out, that's nice. So I'm gonna show you guys the before and after, um, and I will, I don't even know if you can hear you right now. Truck is done. Oh, can't see me. Jeez, truck is done. So I will do a video tomorrow in the daylight. But it's sunny tomorrow, and I'll show you the real difference. And uh, sorry for not having any, you know, during shots. We uh, went and grabbed food, and by the time we got back, he was pretty much done with it. So just video to say, hey, get your truck paint corrected. It'll look good. So much better. It's so worth it. It's been raining ever since I got the paint correction, so there's been no shots or anything like that. Um, I guess the ones right after the uh, paint correction before it got dark was good enough. I gotta ship out a couple things for some customers and then tonight I'm host, not hosting, but like I posted on my story on Instagram and said, hey, you know, Taco Tuesday, if anybody wants to come out to uh, Raising Cane's local to us, um, you know, feel free to come out. So I'll get some videos of the other trucks there and uh, yeah, it'd be a good time. Love Cane's and we're about to leave Utah. So that's why I wanted to like hang out with everybody one last time, uh, some friends, some customers, stuff like that, and just kind of hang out, have a good time, and talk about trucks and whatever before I go. I'm going to get these dropped off at UPS and then get changed up, put me a little square one hoodie on, and then, uh, yeah, head to the Taco Tuesday, I guess.
All right, that was cool. The event went pretty well. Uh, saw some, man, I got some people that didn't show up actually now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, met up with some customers face to face, which is always good instead of you know just being on Instagram. Saw the turnout for a very uh, last minute thing. So I'm not mad about that. I didn't get everybody, but um, I think like 30 people showed up. So pretty solid. Uh, it was raining the whole time, so it's all good. I don't really know what's next. Uh, oh, rock lights, actually. So I'm doing some diode rock lights, um, the East Coast gear supply bushing on the uh, driver's side and rear drums. I think that's majority of what I'm doing to this truck. I have to look at my list, but yeah. So a couple more videos on this truck still before, you know, having fun with it, whatever. But for install videos and changes, um, it's almost done. So I almost got it looking how I want it and I freaking love it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just, uh, just comment. Thanks.